Hey guys, Max with AM Website Pro here. Hey, did you know that you could customize your Google Chrome browser? There's no intros on my videos, so we're just going to dive right into it. Now, whenever I open up my Google Chrome, this is what I see. Now, look at down at the bottom right hand side Customize Chrome. If I click on that, I can actually upload a picture from my computer and, and change the background. Here's my beautiful Mary. I'll open that up, and now I can see that image in the background. It's that fast and that easy to change. Okay, let's go on to the next part. Now, if I wanted to use a different image, I would just click on the little pencil icon down at the lower right-hand corner here, and then click Upload from this device and maybe choose a different image. The other thing that I could do is whenever I come down here to, to click the image, I can use one of Google's uh, images that they have in their library. So if I click on Earth, click done you can see that I could have this background the next thing you can change is the shortcuts that you see down here in your Google Chrome browser if you click on that pencil again the next one down is shortcuts click on that and then you could have your shortcuts shortcuts are created by you or your most visited shortcuts or you could just hide them all together if you hide them click done you'll notice that we ha now have no shortcuts down there if you want to turn them back on just go back to shortcuts and then click my shortcuts and click done. If you want to edit a shortcut, all you would have to do is hover over it. And when the three dots appear, click on those three dots, click edit shortcut. And then you can edit this to go wherever you would like it. If you just need to remove it, you can hover over it, click on those three dots and click remove. And now you'll notice you'll get add shortcut down here. Another interesting feature that Google decided to include in the customization of their browser is the fact that you can add cards. Now, what are cards? Well, they're recipes and also like if you leave something in your uh, shopping cart somewhere online. So to navigate to that particular feature, click on the little pencil icon, come down to cards. And if you have hide all cards, you want to switch it to customize cards. And if you turn on recipe ideas and your carts, you will see what's going on here. So let's click done. And if you scroll down here, you could see earlier, I looked up a banana cake recipe. Let's go ahead and look up a, a meatball recipe. And if I could spell recipe, let me click on easy meatball recipe. And we load this up in my browser and I'll accept all the cookies, but uh, we'll go ahead and wait for that to totally download from this lady's site. And I'm just not going to allow any data tracking, but I'm gonna bring up, oh my, the ads, okay. So let's go ahead and click up on a new, new tab. And if I scroll down, you can see now I am getting meatball recipes. Here at eBay, you can see at eBay, I have a cart, but uh, if I go to ebay.com, and I scroll down here to my account. Maybe I want to uh, purchase some capacitors. And I'll go ahead and choose the quantity. Maybe 10 pack. And then I'll click add to cart. You can see that it's adding, adding it to the cart. And I'm just going to close out. I'm not going to check out here. Let me close this lady's uh, website. Now, let me go ahead and refresh my browser. And if I scroll down here, you can see I still have, I can navigate to my eBay cart by just by clicking that little uh, icon. And you here you can see that I made my way so that I can indeed check out and get this. Okay, that's another cool feature for the Google Chrome browser. And so once again, to get there, you click on your little pencil icon and you come down the cards. And if you don't, if you want, just want recipe ideas, you could turn off uh, your carts. If you just want your carts, you could turn off recipe ideas, or you can hide them all together. Click done. Okay, so let's talk about colors and themes. Now, if we look at the top here, we can see that we have this bluish uh, color. Let's say that you wanted to change that. Well, you would go down to your pencil icon once again, and right here where it says color and themes, and notice whenever I click these different ones that the colors will change. If I click the purple, I get a kind of like a purple, click the blue, a different kind of blue, the green, and so on and so forth. I kind of like the darker ones, so I'm gonna choose black. And then 
I'll select done and now you can see that I have the black color. Now the other thing that you could do is customize the theme. To customize the Google Chrome theme all you would do is navigate down to the pencil once again come down here to colors and themes and you notice here that I have the slate theme installed. And if I click on this to open it up, you can see that I have this slate theme installed. Now, if you navigate to the uh, link in this post, it's going to show you where you could go for tons of themes on the Google Chrome store. So you could grab any one of these themes and I'll show you how easy it is. Well, you just use this light rose colored one. I'll click on that, select add to Chrome. And notice how it changes everything instantaneously. If I open up a new browser, you can see I still have my background image, but now I'm using the rose theme that Google Chrome has. But now that's all well and good, and it's real easy to change things around. You can change your background image uh, if you follow the, me in this tutorial. But what if you wanted to do your own thing? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay, to do your own thing, it's just as simple as going to this website right here. It's called themebeta.com. And in here, you can upload an image, you can generate colors, and then you can pack and install. And I'm just going to go uh, over a short tutorial with this. On this other tab right here, you can see that I created a earth tone theme. And I'll share it with you guys on the web page that's listed in the description of this post but here you go you could start by uploading an image so let's grab an image possibly this image of fire okay so that's going to be our background image and maybe we we'll just want the them to generate colors off of this image and so that's a pretty cool color generated off of this image now we could select pack and install or we could go ahead and customize it a little bit more by clicking on images now Whenever we hover over, for example, the frame, notice how the frame will turn red up here. And if we hover over toolbar, the toolbar turns red. Well, that's where we could target these different colors. So, so for example, if we wanted to change the toolbar from this dark brown, let me go ahead and grab the hexadecimal CSS. I'm going to click copy because I want to change it back. And maybe we wanted uh, to change it to, uh, I don't know, maybe gray. Okay, so we'll click on gray and then just click off of it. And now you can see that is indeed gray. Let's go ahead and put it, put it back to that hexadecimal. I'm just going to paste that right in there. So if you're designing with CSS, you'll be able to uh, do it that way. If you wanted to, for example, choose an image. So let me go ahead and choose a, a, a different image. We'll choose this green one. And notice that the image is now in the background. Okay. But we don't want an image in the background there. We're just going to keep it just like that. You could go with uh, maybe you want your logo in down here. So on this NTP attribution, we'll go ahead and click Choose Image. And my logo is on my desktop, so I'll just double click that. And you can see now that we have the logo in there. If you wanted to do a uh, customize the colors a little bit more, you could go to this here. And if you hover over the different colors, you could see that uh, it'll start turning red. For example, if you see this little chrome right here, background tab text, notice how it turns red. And then you could just uh, change that color to whatever it is. Okay. And then finally, whenever you're done, you could go back to where it says basic. You could click pack and install, or you could click on this pack and select pack and download. So we'll go ahead and download this theme. I'll click save, put it in my downloads folder. And the next thing that we need to do is bring up another tab and we want to go to the three dots over here, go down to where it says more tools. Let's go to our extensions. And when we're in the extensions, all we want to do is whatever folder this is in, we'll click show in folder. And it's in our downloads folder. And what we want to do is, 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 here, let me show you. Grab this theme and just drag and drop it into the ex Chrome extensions. It's going to ask you if you want to add theme, click add theme. Another very important thing that I wanted to make sure of is that you have this developer mode turned on. Otherwise, you can't do this. So now whenever I open up a new tab in my Google Chrome, you can see I have my logo here. Here's the, uh, the green outline. And so that's pretty cool, huh? 
So that's all you have to do. And if you go to the uh, web page and the description of this video, you'll be able to design your own, put your own backgrounds and so on and so forth. Uh, if you need any uh, help or you have any questions, comments or concerns, please uh, put them in the comments below or go to the web page, comment there, like, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.